Andre, how's it going? Hey man, I'm I'm down in the dumps right now, bro. I'm I'm hurting, but it's all good, man. I I I I'll take it. I'll take it because I'm gonna dish it out when we're on the best end of the stick instead of being on this side of the fence. And yo, we got cooked yesterday. I'm hurt. I'm I I just I don't want to watch sports after the Eagles lost. Now I can tolerate a loss, especially if you're playing. A close game. It's a you know it's it's a battle, but yo, it wasn't really a battle last night, man. And it it just took the took the life out of people in Philadelphia. It's a lot of mad people, man. I even had neighbors that was ready to knuckle up with people that were Dallas fans coming around here talking that bullshit, man. Yo, we don't like the Philadelphia Eagles losing, especially to a rival. So we hurting, man. We hurting. Hey, no one likes losing to a rival, and I think everybody in the NFL probably ha has a little extra, extra something when they lose into the Cowboys. But, you know, as a sort of consolation prize, I think it says a lot about the state of the NFL when the Eagles losing is like national news, because that's what goes to show you just how good of a team this is and how, yes. high, and how high their expectations for performance are really sort of has become these days. I, I mean, look, like I said, man, we, we we talked about when the schedules came out, the little the real gauntlet of the schedule. And to go four and two so far, we beat the Chiefs, the Cowboys, the Dolphins, the Bills. And and, and, and the only lose to San Fran and Dallas, that's 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 a remarkable feat because a lot of teams will be two and four with that schedule. But because of the, the manner in which we lost, San Fran took it to us. They came in our house. They wiped shit on our carpet. Real disrespectful. Then they'll go to Dallas, the, the nemesis, the rival, the hatred that flows. That is the dark side over there. And Jerry Jones is the Sith Lord. And, and I'm telling you, man, when you lose to, to them, it hurt. But in the manner that we lost, the offense couldn't put up no points. Oh, God, man, that, that was an ugly way to loss. And my phone was ringing all damn night. I can only <laughs> imagine it. So, you know, in the, spirit, <laughs> in, in the spirit of two things, two questions, let's dig into this Eagles loss first. By first question, what is going on with the Eagles defense? Second question, what is going on with the Eagles offense? And then we'll predict the Monday Night Football. So, without further ado, take it away, Eagles D. What is going on with this defensive unit? Our linebackers are trash. That's where it starts. Uh, Morrow had an okay game. Zach Cunningham came off an injury. Darius Leonard, I can't even really say much because it was his first game. He's trying to get acclimated with the scheme, the system, and all that. So, he, he don't get talked about. But – our linebackers are horrible, man. And then on top of that, you're not getting the pressure you were getting last year. Now, granted, Hassan Reddick had two sacks yesterday, but Josh Sweat couldn't get get away from Tyron Smith. He 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 was amazing last night. Left tackle for the Cowboys. Um, he he. I mean, Josh Sweat couldn't get get no pressure. You know, what I mean, Dak Prescott had a lot of time. The, the throw that, that the, 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 you know, the little routes that they were going with CD lamb, Brian, Brandon cooks had a great game. He scored uh Mike, Michael Gallup, you know what I mean? Ferguson is a beast. I got giving his props, but yo, Sean Desai, you got to go. If we could get Vic Fangio to come here in some way, shape or form. Cause I remember they were trying to get Vic here, but he had decided to be like a, a defensive coordinator elsewhere or a counselor elsewhere. He might be uh, an assistant right now currently, but a defensive coordinator, I mean. But, yo, show the side. Your, your defensive scheme is trash. It is vanilla. And, yes, you have some players that can make plays, but your, your play calling is horrible. Uh, James Bradbury, you got to go. Ain't it crazy? What a year, a difference a year can make. James Bradbury was on an all-pro team. I believe he was on the second team all-pro team. This year, he's first team all bum. He's getting cooked every game they played this year. Even the ones we won, he was getting baked. 
And that guy give it up like prom night. Yeah, I, he got to go. He got to go, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. You got to go get you a cornerback in the draft or in free agency. Big Clay Slay. They didn't really pick on him. They had little four. They they went to, went on his side four times, but nobody made a catch. The brunt of the catches were made against James Bradbury, Eli Ricks, uh, 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 Bradley Roby. Them guys couldn't stop a nosebleed. And yo, I, 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 if I know I got Bradbury on, on, on with a, with one of my receivers, I'm going to his side all day. They, they James Bradbury is fucking horrible, and it's time for him to get his walking papers after this season. If he don't provide us with the same defense that he pro provided us last year, by the time the playoffs come, and hopefully we're not in that fifth spot, hopefully when Dallas have to play the Buffaloes and the Miamis, shit going to get real for them. They got their victory. They got their Super Bowl, in my opinion. They owed us that. But now the, the schedule gets crazy. So the defense needs some work, man. And, and as far as the offense, you got to hold on to the football. Uh, got to hold on. It's imperative to protect the rock. Devontae Smith had a fumble. That's that's not like him. He had a couple drops. A.J. Brown had a drop in the end zone just like Devontae. That's 14 points right there. And then, Jalen, you can't set the tone on the first drive and fumble the rock. You got to slide. If you're going to slide, don't try to get that extra yard. Just slide. So you can avoid getting hit, man. He he gave up the rock that set the tone that Dallas was up 14 or 10 nothing at that point. They were up 10 nothing. And now you can send Michael Parsons and D Law with a lead. You can send them guys right at them. They 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 got pressure in on us, but let me just say, Brian Johnson, you another one. You got to fucking go. If you don't get your shit together, you got to fucking go. You gotta go. Your play calling is horrible. It's piss poor. Those bubble screens you like they throw with the wide receivers and the tight end. What the fuck are you doing? Rush the fucking ball. You're a better football team when you rush the ball. When you rush the ball, it opens the offense wide. Because now instead of double teaming the AJ Brown, double teaming the Devontae or Goddard, I have to stack eight in the box to stop the run with a stout offensive line. It's no reason DeAndre Swift shouldn't have 20 rushes in a game of that magnitude. When Dallas weakness is up the middle, I'm running up the gut on them as many fucking times as I can get. And the play calling was fucking horrible. Brian Johnson, I know you got ties to Jalen Hurts. But after this season, if we don't make it to the at least, at least the NFC Championship this year, you getting your walking papers. You got to fucking go. I mean that shit, man. Yeah, no, I mean, look, most NFL losses, like you were saying, oftentimes just straight up come down to who wins or who loses that turnover battle and who is uh, stopping the run and who is establishing the run. And when I look at the strength of Philadelphia's roster, as we have said, you know, countless times, it begins in the trenches, offensive line, defensive line. And for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like the coaching staff, to your point, is really optimizing their chances to win by getting the most out of the talent that they have in the line play. Khalil Ringo. Why is – I get I get it. Reed Blankenship went down. He had to go get Khalil Ringo in there. He had two penalties, two costly penalties in one play. And they both counted because of the face mask call and pass interference. I've never seen that before in my life. Usually one offsets the other. They combined the penalties. Khalid Rango was getting baked. Granted, he's a rookie. He barely get playing time. They threw him into the fire. But I'm expecting the Khalid Rango that was out there at Georgia making plays against some of the top wide receivers in the SEC, top tight ends, running backs, and he's not ready yet. He's going to need some reps. He's going to need some time to develop. I get that. But he was put in a bad spot yesterday. Listen, I got to say, Sean Desai, if you don't get this shit in order, you're getting the fuck out of Philadelphia because it's people already all on sport radio here in Philadelphia, they're calling for your ouster. You're, yeah, I get it. The Eagles, think about this. The Eagles are 10 and 3. We had back to back losses, but I don't want to make no excuses. This is a team that lost their offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator 
to the Colts and the Cardinals, and now you got to implement a new system right off the fly. It's going to take time. So that's why I'm hoping it hurt right now. We're we're falling down the power rankings of the Stephen A. Smiths. You got Skip Bayless looking like Dracula. He's happy. He's on his high horse right now, looking like a fool. But it's okay when the playoffs come. We got a we got a a, a, a easier schedule. The, the 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 Seahawks is up next on Monday night. That's a win, especially if Geno Smith out and Drew Lock in. That's a game that the defense could gain confidence. Cause Drew Lock, another one, won't give it up like prom night. He won't give up the rock. Now he he played okay against San Fran, but it's Drew Lock. He's not winning that game against the Eagles. So the Eagles will get that victory. Then we play the Giants. Then we play the Cardinals. Then we play the Giants to finish the season. By that time, I'm hoping at least we have the second seed or at least the one seed because San Fran got some dogs they got to play too. But Dallas, don't get hyped. Y'all got Buffalo. After they came out of Arrowhead, granted, it's controversy behind their win, but they left out of Arrowhead with a win, and they got something to play for with the best quarterback statistically in the NFL right now in Josh Allen. You don't want to see this team right now. So feel good. Enjoy your win. Josh Allen is up next, and the loss is going to mount. The Eagles will win this division. The Eagles will be a top two seed in the playoffs. I promise you that. I can't guarantee that number one seed. I'm hoping San Fran lose about two more games. But I see the Eagles getting that that top two. They're going to be in the top two. It just it hurt because of what what we saw yesterday. That hurt, man. Oh, that hurt. I can only only imagine how badly it hurt. I mean, you know, uh, coming from a a longtime former San Diego Chargers fan, the Chargers were famous for having some dudes in the trenches, having some people that could get to the quarterback, but they used to love playing that sort of like prevent defense where they're going to try and get after that quarterback, sending four against that O-line rather than sending the blitz. You know, I mean, sometimes you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz, but, you know, teams like the Ravens and the Steelers have always seemed to do pretty well by, you know, keeping that quarterback, you know, uh, off time. And Dak, was extremely on time with all of his receivers last night, making Dak look like a Hall of Famer out here. I hate – I I feel like my ears going to bleed right now on some exorcism shit. When you say stuff like that, it don't even – don't even sound right. That, 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 that – ah, God, I, I don't like how that sounds, but it's okay. I can't – look, do- look it, it, was what, it was what it was, right? You got – um. Every single one of the receivers from that, that that Dallas Cowboys lineup that we have not really heard much from all season long. We got even Michael Gallup impersonating Michael Jordan at the end of this game, like you said, as if they won the Super Bowl. So as long as I can remember, I know that, you know, NFL circles, what happens? The Dallas Cowboys are like a roller coaster. And when they win, everybody wants to make a big deal out of Dallas. And when they lose... It's always them flying off the face of the earth, right? At the end of the day, I'll take the Philadelphia Eagles when it's in the clutch. Let me just get that one, you know. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. See, what people don't understand, for the past four or five weeks, the Eagles gave you people, the viewer, games of the week. The Buffalo Bill game, game of the week. The Dolphins game, game of the week. The Dallas game, that was the game of the week. The Chiefs game, that was the game of the week. We've been giving y'all games of the week, back to back to back to back weeks. San Fran owed us an ass whooping. That wasn't a game of the week. That was a game of an ass whooping. And last night, that was volume two. So it's okay. It hurt. It stings. But we'll be fine after we go up to Seattle, handle our business, and then we got the the easiest part of the schedule because the gauntlet is over. It's over, people. It's all right. We went four and two in the meet up pulse of the schedule. That that was that that's pretty impressive. Cause like I said, I see a lot of teams being three and three, two and four, or one and five playing those teams. I could easily see it. That's a testament. 
the the, the Philadelphia Eagles team overall. So it, I'm hurt, but I ain't going to just jump and go crazy and jump out the water with this shit. We're not going to do that. But it's over. Relax. We got to relax. I got to relax. I'm in my feelings right now cuz I you 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 understand what that star do to me. Like I hate that star. It's almost like for a Charger fan. Maybe the Raiders helmet is that to a Charger. It used to be back in the day, but when both back those teams the, were competitive, but yeah. Back in the day, but you know, it's it's that. We, you know, we hate these guys and we don't want to get shown up by them. We could get shown up. We could lose to the Jets. Okay. A fluke. That was a fluke. But to lose like that in Dallas, nah. You got something you got to hear. You got to hear this shit all week. And like I said, Count Dracula, Skip Bayless, oh, he loving it. He loving it, man. He is loving it. He put the Botox shots in his face today to talk his shit, man. Fuck you, Skip Bayless. I, I mean that wholeheartedly, man. Anybody that's a Dallas fan, you too. Fuck all y'all. Hey. You know, I know we got at least one uh, <laughs> Dallas Cowboy uh, fan listening to the program right now. But you know, I, I think they don't take it. They're riding high. They got the Stetson on. All right. Man. Oh, God. That, right. Oh, man. That's you grand know, pop cologne Stetson. Oh, <laughs> my Lord. Woo. Right. You know, they got the neckerchief in the, in the, in the hat. So, <laughs> so moving into the pred uh, prediction phase of the show, uh, we got a Monday Night Football action happening. Um a lot going on tonight. We got Titans and the Dolphins. And then is it just me or we got a doubleheader with uh, DeVito and the Giants also taking on the Packers? Yeah, how about that? Now, uh, the football game, that's crazy. The Titans game is about to come on, too. That's crazy. So, um, look, I mean, for me, the, the game to watch is the Dolphins game and, and, and versus um, Tennessee. That should be a good game. Will Levis. Versus Tua, you know what I mean? Derrick Henry, he going to get about a touchdown maybe. But, you know, Tyreek Hill going to go crazy. I see him getting uh, maybe a touchdown. And watch out for Jalen Waddle. I think he do for for some uh, explosiveness, you know what I mean? So I think he might have a crazy game today. And uh, a guy like Raheem Mostert going to have a, like two touchdowns. So I see this game between the Dolphins and the, the, the Titans. Shoot, I say 36 to 36 to 17. Okay. The Dolphins. Okay. So you're taking the Finns, 36, 17. And then how are you feeling about Packers Giants? So we got Jordan Love coming off a of high, man. He had a hell of a game the last game. He went crazy. You know what I mean? It looked like the 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 torch of the Packers quarterback franchise is now starting to, you know, fit through the door. That is Jordan Love and Jordan Love is actually going to get a chance to go up against okay New York Giants defense, but in the end, too many weapons, too many plays. You're going to see a healthy dosage of of maybe Romeo Dobbs. They those guys like that. They go. They got a couple of guys. Reed too. They going to get a dosage of them today. I see the Giants getting getting punched on. Uh, 27, 27, 27, 13. Over the Giants. Packers, 27-13, man. 27-13, go Pack. Go Jordan Love. That squad of young receivers that they have, I think that they're gelling into something special over there. Andre, as always, thank you for tapping in. Thank you for the education. And we'll do it again next week. We'll do it again next week.